In this entrepreneurs episode, I talk about the myth of the second screen mind. And with social media, one of the big things now is the second screen. So when you're watching TV, you know, you got your tablet or your iPhone and you're looking at stuff like I'm looking at my email right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't read my email and talk to you at the same time. You know, that's one of the things that I think is totally coming out of control. It's absolutely out of control. And so what happens is that you've got a happy face here and because of all the social media and all these different devices, now I have to not only be able to watch TV at the same time as I'm, you know, looking at my iPhone and of course I have my tablet. So now the second screen concept becomes a complete joke as far as I'm concerned. Your brain is a parallel computer because you've got trillions of neurons that are firing impulses uh, parallelly and you're just going, this is why the, the entrepreneurs the, and the psychology of the entrepreneur mind is so powerful because you have a parallel computer that can do all these things in parallel. But ironically, you yourself are, will have difficulty. So what happens is that if you're feeling overwhelmed, and this applies not only to personal but also to your business life, whether you're a startup or a, a growing company. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and you got phone calls coming in and you've got your devices, your iPhone, your computer, your, your tablet, it, it, the reason is really simple. It is the myth of the second screen mind. Your mind, ironically, is very simple in some respects. It's like a computer. And so what happens is think of it as there's a flask and You've got a bunch of ideas, idea one, idea two, idea three, process one, task two, and you've got all these different things you have to do at the same time. Maybe it's also like, I've got to check my email while I'm driving, which is not good. That's why you have the AT&T campaign, big campaign about don't text and drive. But bottom line is that your mind is really simple. If you're going to become very efficient in doing whatever you're doing and when I feel overwhelmed I can tell you I speak from my personal experience because as a startup accelerator we have so many things going on but it's much simpler just to go one at a time so when you wake up on a Monday morning and you feel completely overwhelmed and you're anxious about getting so many things done just do it one at a time and so what happens is when you're doing it this way then you're able to get more things done. And the irony is that this actually also applies to manufacturing or producing a product from raw materials to finished goods is one piece flow. So one, two, three. Obviously the magic of it is that you have to kind of prioritize what's important. And so you have to be able to look at all your tasks and figure out what you should do, whatever it is, just do it one at a time. I'm telling you, it works. You get it done quicker. And not only do you get it done quicker that way, but now you don't feel overwhelmed. And believe me, if anybody sometimes feels so overwhelmed, I do. So uh, this is a process that I speak from my experience. In fact, I'm using it myself because at times I have failed to do that this way. Why did I fail? Because sometimes you got so many things coming at you that you have to be disciplined about it. Discipline. One piece flow. Do one thing at a time. And what's going to happen actually is that the rate of getting things done actually increases. So this time between the tasks is decreased because you're doing one thing at a time and then you're just compressing and you're going down this funnel of activities and getting things done. Now let me go do that myself one piece at a time and I one of the things I'm gonna stop doing is looking at my phone while I'm doing something else. Until next time. <laughs>